I'm here as the Director General acting in the National Pension Commission. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about the National Pension Commission before we uh, go straight into the question. Uh, this is a commission set up by law in 2004, and it is to regulate and administer all pension matters in Nigeria. And the Pension Reform Act 2004 was enacted to solve the huge pension problem in Nigeria. At the time, we had a two trillion deficit in pension fund liabilities, and that deficit was growing by the day. And uh, following the enactment of the law, what it saw was the introduction of the contributory pension system to stem the growth of that liability, and also to introduce a sort of shared ownership of the uh, pension fund uh, uh, issues. And that, since 2004, has seen the emergence of 20 well, then it was 25, but there's been mergers and acquisitions. So we have 20 pension fund administrators and five custodians. And what it is is that it is a contributory system where every individual who is working and uh, who has five employees or, or more are uh, required by law to open a retirement savings account where they contribute a certain percentage of their salary into those accounts. And uh, this is administered by the pension fund administrators, and these funds are held by the custodians, and there's a huge separation of duty. And that, uh, uh, that's the way we have done for the past uh, eight years, really, because the law was passed in 2004, but it didn't actually start till 2005. And right now, we have uh, 3.6 trillion, I think that's about $22 billion in assets, and these are growing. And it's thanks to this contributory system. And um, more pertinent to what we're doing today is how we have, uh, how these funds are going to take advantage of this capital market opportunities. Um, it's something that is, we're already doing. The uh, funds, we have one of our leading PFAs right next to me. We are already investing in the capital markets in Nigeria, but the opportunity is yet untapped and with the possibility that these pension funds are not static. We are also working into making sure that the tenets of the pension funds regulation, which is safety of the funds, is incorporated with the need to actually invest these funds. And uh, to that end, we, are having, we have regulations to guide and guard the pension fund assets. And um, typically, we are focusing now on Nigeria, because part of what we're wondering is whether we're going into the West African angle. Um, the law, as it is, allows investment outside the shores of Nigeria, whether in Africa or uh, the rest of the world. But in the regulations we have, it is a time thing. At what point do we move outside Nigeria? We are interested in setting up the Nigerian investment for starters and making sure that the, the funds are primarily invested in Nigeria. And then, obviously, there will be need for diversification, and then we'll take it from there. But like I said, everything is ordered step by step, and uh, so that at each point in time, we're setting that not only is Nigeria benefiting from the pension funds investment, but also that the pension funds are safe. Thank you. Doing business in Africa. You can't afford to be without Africa Investor.